Moving further, the next uh, feature of Git repeats I would like to show you is the drop. So for example, you're working on your code repository and then you realize you need to drop some of the commits which is not relevant anymore or if you have pushed some of the wrong commits in your GitHub repository. So to explain this, I'm going to take a very simple example. So here I uh, thought like, okay, I have committed feature number one, two, three, and four, but then I also committed a feature number five and six, which you can see over here. And then later on, I realized that feature number five and six are not correct. And that was an incorrect push. So how can I get rid of those commit message as well as those code, code I have added in the feature number five and six. To do that, I'm going to use the drop feature of git rebase interactive so let's jump to our terminal and see how we can drop the feature number five and six uh, commit from my git repository let's open the git log history so here i'm going to run the command git log and followed by one line and here you can see this is the git log history and here i would like to work on the commit history uh, for this particular feature where five and six i need to drop so i will take the base commit just a commit before that particular feature number five and six so i'm going to work on the feature number four commit hash so i'm going to copy this commit hash to initiate the rebase i cannot do the rebase on the exact commit uh, which i want to drop so i will take the commit which is just before that or which is a base commit uh, for that particular change so i'm going to copy that one and i'm going to run the command git rebase interactive and paste the hash code over here okay after that here you can see the uh, sorry i just pressed the wrong window so here you can see onto the window that this particular message is uh, available and now i am into the edit mode where i can supply the drop commands or drop flags inside my commit uh, history so here uh, I need to go into the edit mode. So from the keyboard, what you need to do is you need to press I. I'm using the VI editor. If you're using the nano editor, then please follow the nano editor commands for editing these or making these kind of a changes. Okay, so here, uh, since I need to drop this particular commit messages, so here I need to use, uh, let me show you. So here I need to use, instead of pick, I need to use drop. So here I will just remove the pick from here. And instead of that, I'm going to use drop. So I will use the keyword drop over here, which you can see. I'll just highlight it again. So here you can see I'm just, I have changed from pick to drop. Okay. And instead of using drop, you can use a single alphabet, which is D. And then it will also work for you. Okay, after that, you just need to uh, click on uh, escape and then colon, then W and Q to save and quit. Okay, so this file has been updated and here we have updated that, yes, we are going to drop this particular commit. Okay, after that, I'm just going to hit enter. Okay, so now we have rebased it and the next thing which we need to do is we need to push this particular change and let me show you the commit history. So here you can see, let me refresh the page. So here you can see this particular message is available, but after I push this particular change, then this message will be gone. Okay, so here I'm going to run the command git push and then I need to supply the force flag because we are rewriting the history, the normal push will not work and then hit enter and here you can see uh, force push has been done onto my branch so let's take a look and refresh this particular page and here you can see the feature number five and six is gone and now i'm left with feature number one two three and four so that's how you can drop your commit uh, from your git commit history using the drop feature of git rebase interactive